This book follows a baby snow leopard named Leo. He went from Pakistan all the way to New York City where he could be happy. There are three interesting things that I learned. One of them is that snow leopards leave a trail of scent as markings, and they also do claw rakings to communicate with other animals that they are in their territory. One thing that surprised me was that Leo has been halfway around the world going to Islamabad in New York City. I think that's interesting because no leopard would not have to travel all that way. In this book, the text features are titles, photographs, captions, and a map. There's a map of all the places Leo traveled to, like the Karaka Mountains. That is where the go herder found Leo. This helped me a lot because I got to see where a slama van is. It showed Gilgit, the place where the animal code server list picked up Leo. An animal lover would like this heartwarming story about a baby snow leopard going to New York City. This would also be a good book for people who like going to the zoo. Summary of book. World War II started in 1939 and lasted six years. When it was all over, 72 pe million people died. In 1933, Adolf Hitler blamed Jews for the troubles in Germany, so Germany started the war by capturing Jews. The countries that were worked together to fight Germany were Britain, China, France, Soviet Union, and the United States. They were also fighting against Italy and Japan. The other countries, the other countries, leaders were Franklin Roosevelt, the United States, Joseph Stalin, Soviet Union, Hedi Tojo, Japan, Bento Mussolini, Italy, and Winston Churchill, Great Britain. All branches of the military were involved in World War II. That included the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Marines. There were a lot of soldiers that were pilots, so they used fighter jets in the war. Eventually, the, the, the atomic bombs on Japan killing 80,000 people. Japan surrendered to the United States on September 2, 1945. Three interesting things I learned were Hitler joined the German army in World War I, and he was a leader in World War II. Two, Hitler wanted to make a revolution that he would lead. Three, the atomic bombs made Japan surrender to the United States when they dropped, the United States dropped the bombs on Japan. One thing that surprised me was that Hitler dropped out of high school when he was 16. I can't believe that Hitler had so few years in school and he became a leader of Germany.
types of text features in the book. There are a number of text features in the book World War II. One, table of contents helps you find the page number for each chapter. Two, bold faced words tell you tell what they mean at the bottom. Three, maps help you see where the parts of the war happened. Four, index helps you find where the page certain information is on. Photo, five, photos show what the soldiers looked like and what they were doing. The text feature that was the most helpful to me. Maps were the most helpful to me because I could see where the battles happened and where the countries were located. Who would like this book? I think a lot of people will like this book because it tells you what happened in World War II. This will be interest interesting if you want to know how it started. The end. The end. The end. The Secret Galaxy is a book about the galaxy and all the things in the sky. It talks about the Milky Way and how stars are born and what happens when a star dies. It tells you mostly about the stars and how they stay together. It has beautiful pictures of space and stars that, you, that don't look possible. The book teaches you interesting things about the galaxy that you probably don't know, like a black hole is considered the heart of the galaxy. You might know a lot of things about space, but there are many secrets in the galaxy you will learn in this book. When stars die, they fuse together and the fusion releases a huge amount of energy from the sun as heat and light. Black holes live in the heart of the galaxy and they pull in stars and gas in the center growing more massive. One thing that surprised me is that there is an invisible material called dark matter. Dark matter is a gas that stretches between galaxies. A quarter of dark matter is bright things that make up stars. This surprised me because it's something I never knew about and it sounds mysterious. Types of text features in the book are photographs that are clear and close, captions that describe the things in the pictures, and photographs with labels to show what is in the photograph. The text feature that was most helpful to me are the photographs because you can see the photo close and clear. It helps you to understand what the book is talking about better. I think who would like this book the most are people that are interested in space and want to learn more about the galaxy. Also people that wonder what happens in space and the galaxy. My book is about the U.S. Coast Guard. It has a long history, starting with the Revenue Cutter Service. The service was established on August 4, 1790. Every year, 4,000 new members enlist in or join the Coast Guard. Soon, 
in the Coast Guard, you must be a U.S. citizen, be 17 to 23 years old, and unmarried. There are two kinds of uniforms that they wear, working and dress blues. Basic training is an eight-week program. The first week, they are taught how to wear their uniforms correctly. They use many kinds of tools. The life of a Coastie is not always exciting. The Coast Guard has many different kinds of jobs. The cutters are the biggest ships. I learned that there are many different kinds of jobs in the Coast Guard, like engineer, mechanics, and electrician, food specialist, and gunner's mate. I learned that there was a terrorist attack on September 11th, 2003, in New York. The Coast Guard helped during the tragedy by protecting the coast and bays of New York. I learned that the Coast Guard used many different kinds of tools such as ships, planes, and helicopters. My personal U.S. Coast Guard helicopter is the H-65 Dolphin. One thing that surprised me was that how many ranks there are in the Coast Guard. It surprised me because I knew there were a couple ranks, like General and Commander, but I never knew there were Seamen, Seamen Apprentices, and Seamen. The text features my book has are diagrams, captions, titles, subtitles, a glossary, and an index.